walking blessings, blessings. I'm dancing in favor. I'm walking in blessings, blessings. What's up? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So, um, this morning I'm going to be doing a skincare routine. Um, a lot of people have been asking me, girl, what are you using on your face? How do you get your skin so clear? Y'all, I used to suffer with um, severe breakouts. I have oily prone skin and blemish prone skin and a little bit of com combination like right here maybe and my t-zone um can tend to get pretty bad around that time if you know what i mean i'm sure you do but um yeah so let's just jump right into this video okay this is a disclaimer this video is not sponsored i have bought all these products with my own monies mm -hmm. with my own monies okay <laughs> this video is not sponsored but i love this product and i love this i love this company so much and i love their products uh, i have been using them for like three to four years maybe and a lot of their stuff is trial and error. Girl, <laughs> their products can tend to be strong. And if you have sensitive skin like me, you have to like know what's know what works best for you and your skin type. And like I said, I am uh, I have oily skin, I have blemish prone skin, and uh, a little bit of combination. And I have some hyperpigmentation like right here you can see that acne scarring as well but let's get into how much it costs <laughs> a lot of people when they ask me girl what are you using on your skin you know your face it looks good your skin looks good what are you using and then i tell them urban skin all right and i'm like oh girl she is high she is high but you get what you pay for her. and it's totally worth it like i said i've been using them for three to four years and the only thing I don't use on their line is anything that has retinol in it. I don't know what it is about retinol, but I do know what it is. Retinol is like really, 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 really strong. And like I said, I have sensitive skin, so I cannot use retinol. I've tried like so many products and retinol just breaks my skin now. It's just so strong. So if they have a product that has retinol in it, I'll stay away from it. And, um, one thing I like about this company, um, if you don't like a product or if it doesn't agree with your skin, you can send it back and you can't get your money back, but you can send it back and um, they'll put it on a gift card, like a digital gift card, and you can try something else. Girl, I did this so many times because I had to get what worked best for me. And I want to insert pictures of somewhere in this video. I probably already did it in the beginning. But show you what my skin looked like before I started using Urban Skin. I said it was a lot of trial and area trial and error but this skincare routine that i do works best for me and i love it and um here and then every now and then i might throw in a new product that they have or i might you know go back and revert and look at something else that they have that will work for my skin during that season if that makes sense but yeah a lot of my problems for my skin is like uh, blackheads I still haven't figured out how to extract blackheads or how to they do have a mask that's kind of a blackhead but I got blackheads that's like deep in my pores that I need to get out I might have to go see the Vietnamese people and let them do it or get like a facial or something but I haven't got to that point yet so let's just jump into my routine that I do that works for me and you probably could try if you have skin like mine. So, <coughs> excuse me girl, I'm choking. So this is what I do every morning and every night. I switch it up a little bit at night sometimes or let me just say this, I do switch it up 
if I see that my skin is in dire need. Dire need. What do I mean by that? Like, just say I have a bump or I'm breaking out, like in a, like eczema. I have um, dry skin, so if I like see myself breaking out like right here or something which had just happened not too long ago, then I will fix it with something. I might do something lighter or I might lay off on my routine and go with like some of their more softer, sen uh, sensitive skin uh, products, you know, or I might lay low, on my, lay low on my routine for like two days or something. It will make or break your skincare routine. And that's a facial cleansing brush. Y'all, I got this from Five Below for five dollars. <laughs> because back in the day, I had like this high expensive facial cleanser, and I mean, I really wasn't like too excited about it. So I was like, girl, if you could just get one that's really cheap and call it a day, <laughs> you'll be fine. But this will make or break your skincare routine. So since I have sensitive skin, I found out through trial and error that this bristle brush on my skin is like too harsh. And I just found that out like two weeks ago. <laughs> like I would like break out like right here in the parts where, I, where your skin is really thin. Like I would break out in like rashes and stuff. And then when I would use products, it would burn. And I'm like, oh my God, this is not supposed to burn. What's going on? And so, come to find out, I was getting too deep into my skin with this bristle brush. So, this thing that I got from Five, uh, five Below, five dollars, comes with a silicone uh, scrubber. So, if you have a, if you find, come across something like this, they sell this at Walmart too for like five dollars, and it's battery operated. The silicone works best for my skin. I know y'all like, girl, hurry up, get onto the video. Okay, <laughs> so this is what I do. This is Urban Skin RX. This is their Even Tone Cleansing Bar, three in one treatment. So this is really good for hyperpigmentation. I use this um, in the morning and then I tend to use this at night, which is their Urban Skin RX, the Clear Skin Cleansing Bar in one treatment. This targets um, oil and blemishes and is for deep cleanse, cleansing of the pores. So my routine is I use this in the morning and then I use this at night. And sometimes I might use this morning and night. Sometimes I might use this morning and night as well. But overall, for the most part, I use, look girl, she almost gone. One thing I like about this product, um, it had turmeric in it and turmeric it turmeric is really 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 good for like everything and it also has witch hazel so I was using witch hazel before I even before they even launch this um, uh, toner so I have that here too you just get the typical um, Dickens original original witch hazel toner but it's so good to use a toner after you cleanse your face because it puts like everything that you might have got out, uh, everything, it just puts moisture and it's back in your face and it's a really good um, balancer, it balance everything out. So you use the cleanser and then you use the toner. And this is a brightening, um, brightening solution as well so this is really good now the first time you use this this might sting a little bit just a little bit so i wash my face use my toner and then okay wait let me back up so i wash my face and then i use a mask y'all i think i got like all that masks mm -hmm. so my fave i have all their masks <laughs> but my fave is this one right here. She is almost gone. This one is almost gone. This is the Urban Skin uh, Brighter Days Spot, Brighter Days Dark Spot Polish. Um, it exfoliates dead skin, it smooths rough textures, and it also brights. Listen, let me tell you, after one use, you can see a difference in your skin. I love this stuff. And uh, let me just say, the first time I used this product, I was so mad because like it was not working and my skin 
it was just like it okay it, it has like these beads or something in it. it 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 exfoliates your skin so it has that stuff in it you know and um it's just what working out and i'm like what is going on this stuff so hard my skin is burning like what girl one day i messed around and left my face wet after uh, cleansing my face and then i applied this and it was just like so smooth and i'm like girl that's how you're supposed to put this on I'm like why they just didn't say this so i read the back of the thing and the instruction it says after cleansing um uh, basically put it on on damp skin i'm like girl what this whole time <laughs> So like I cannot run out of this. Like I said, I have another one up under my cabinet because this is a game changer as well. But I do rotate between the Polisher Brighter Days and the Purifying Two-in-One Pumpkin Pore Mask. It's a detox and a scrub. It smooths and clarifies and improves the appearance of pore sizes. Now, I like this because when I first started using it, it had a self-warming uh, dual action. Like it got warm once you like begin to rub it into your skin. So I might, I use this one day, then I go and use this one day. Or I might use this two days and use this, but I rotate between these two. And then this acne and blemish control mask is 5% sulfur in it. This is a deep pore cleansing. It prevents blemishes this is really good as well but i don't really use this one as much honestly um honestly my husband <laughs> he uses it he says he likes it very much so we will keep uh getting this one now i do use it if i feel like i need oh, oh yeah that just came to my mind now if you have like a pimple or like a zit or something if you use this as a spot treatment i literally have seen pimples or zits like minimize overnight using this because the sulfur like dries it out this is really good for that too and they also have a acne and serum spot treatment i really don't use this one as much honestly because girl this will be burning it has 7.5 benzoyl peroxide and a whole bunch of other stuff in it but I have seen it do some damage on a zit or a pimple. But like, if I have a zit or a pimple and I were to put this on it, girl, it be burning so bad. Like, you have to, I have to go take it off. Like, I have to take it off. Like, it, it, it's, it's burning so bad. Okay, so wash my face. I use the mask and then when I get out the uh, shower, I do this before I get in the shower at night. In the morning, I just, uh, in the morning, I don't use the mask because I just wash my face and then I use a toner. <clears throat> so in the morning, I wash my face, I use a toner, and then I'll go in with this. Girl, let me tell you, this is one of their newer um, products. This is the Advanced Even Tone Day and Night Treatment. This is different than the um, other Advanced Night Treatment that they have. Um, I believe the difference is the other night treatment has retinol in it. Like I said, I cannot use retinol because it breaks my skin, skin out really, really, really bad. But this one is Advanced Even Tone Day and Night Treatment. I think the other one is just for night treatment. That's why it's so strong. But you can use this one in the day or in the night, obviously, because of what it's called. But, y'all, when I started using this, which been like maybe three months ago, I had always had it, but I never did use it because I'm like, um, I don't know about this. But, like, one day I decided to put this in my routine, and I have seen a change in my skin, like, um, the overall... Uh, tone of my skin and it just this is a game changer like you need this in your routine like if you are using urban skin rx if you're not you need to start using urban skin rx find out what works best for you and if you're using urban skin rx already you need to put this in your routine if you're not because this is this this i really like this. this is a game changer like for real for real for real like this is a staple in the routine my nose itching okay so in the morning i wash my face i use my 
uh, toner and then I put this on and then I will follow up with a moisturizer which they do recommend uh, a moisturizer. I actually have three moisturizers from that line. I don't know why but they don't sell this one anymore. This is the Aloe Core Calming Cream. It has 1% hydrocortisone in it and I have um, sensitive skin so this really works really good if i use something one of their products or if my face begins to break out or if it's like burning or i have a rash on my face this is really good because it has hydrocortisone in it and it has aloe in it so this is a really good you're not supposed to use this more than like three or four days because you know hydrocortisone bends your skin out and you're not supposed to even really put it on your face that's why this is like one percent so they don't even sell this anymore but i have like some left and i use it sparingly because they don't sell it anymore okay moving on so the next one is the hydro balance instant moisture infusion it's had it has hydroluronic acid in it and some other stuff <laughs> but i like the hydro hydro okay, no, hydrochloronic acid it really targets um it makes my face feel good honestly um but i like this packaging you know you pump it like this and you got a little does go go a long way so you really don't need to look at that or i might follow up up on or i might follow up with um this mega moisture illuminating night cream it has probiotic vitamin e and green tea in it they won me over when they had the probiotic and vitamin e which is really good for your skin and the green tea um they was the last time i looked they were sold out on this product and girl when they sold out on products it be taking them like four or five months i understand they got to get you know stuff together in the lab but girl that's why i try to stock up on it if they have a sale for one because they are a little pricey and majority of the time they give you like a coupon on $25, 25% off coupon or something. So yeah, so a moisturizer. And then on my night routine, I use this um, Red Glow, Red Key Glow or Red Glow Night Oil. It's a gentle resurfacing. It has vitamin E in it as well. And it has 1% or something. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm pretty sure I'm not. But y'all, I love this. This is a game changer as well because it just gives your skin that dewy glow. And even though this says a night oil girl, I've been using this in the daytime too. <laughs> but if I'm going out, I literally just put a little bit on my face. I don't like dry my face as if I were doing this at nighttime. At nighttime, I really don't dry my face either. I just make sure that my face is saturated in this like every spot. And this is a really good targeter for um, um, dark spots as well. And as you can see, I do have a few um, acne scarring like right here. I'm trying to get rid of that. This was pretty bad. This was like um, really dark before I started using it on the skin. And as you can tell that it's kind of lighting up. I do go in with this or some of this and use it as, you can use this as a spot treatment as well for um, dark spots. And they do have like um, travel sizes. Sometimes if you buy a lot of stuff, they'll throw in a free gift so you can like try it out or test it out on your skin before you buy the big bottle because like I said it is a little pricey but um yeah so this make this gives your skin that overall dewy youthful glowy skin to make people be like oh my god your skin looks so good what is your skincare routine what are you doing so it's like tell me you know the last thing that I use from Urban Skin RX is this right here this is the hydrating lip treatment. It has uh, collagen in it, and it has avocado oil, and it's a whole bunch of other stuff. I like this because it's thick, and if you got dry, crusty lips like me sometimes, girl, and especially in the uh, winter time, this is really good. Like a little goes a long way. You don't even need that much. Y'all, let me tell you, they were out of stock on this for like 
four or five months, I kid you not. They were out of stock on this for the longest. And it's like $16 for this too, but it lasts a long time. And so when they got back in stock, I like bought like two of them because I'm like, y'all not gonna run out on me again. And I love this stuff. And I am a uh, Victoria's Secret girl that I, that's all I wear on my lips is Victoria's Secret. But I ran into this and I like it. So ever since I've been using this, I have not used my Victoria's Secret, but it's put up for emergencies because sometimes I might tend to like lose my lip gel. You know what I'm talking about? Lip gloss or whatever. So, um, oh, one more thing. I think this, yeah, I've covered everything that I used from Urban Skin. Is their resurfacing vitamin C cleansing bar. Um, I got this in the travel size because like I said, it was a free gift. And if you buy like X amount of dollars sometimes when they're doing a sale, they throw in the free gifts and then um, I forgot what sale they were doing and they threw this in. I like this. It stinks really bad. Oh, girl, it stinks. It has vitamin C and girl, a whole bunch of other stuff. But it stinks so bad. And uh, one thing I like about this though, when you use it, all their products, they foam up really good. If you like a lathering person, they foam up really good, which I wanna show you because I haven't washed my face this morning, so I'm gonna show you the routine that I do. I just wanted to tell you uh, like everything that I had because I got a lot of their products and they all work, okay? They all work. If you find out what works best for you. But, um. I really don't put this into my routine because I really can't see a difference in it. Oh, I don't know, but I do use it. I used it the other day. I do use it from time to time. I might throw it in maybe once a week or something, once every two weeks. But it has vitamin C in it, which is really good for your skin. And if you are a serum girl, they have some serums that you could use too. I um, honestly tried some of their serums, which they were pretty strong for my skin. I had to send like two of them back, but I thought since I have trained my skin to their products, giving it another trial with a serum, they do have a even tone um, serum. I think it has vitamin C in it, but they have quite a, maybe they have like, three or four serums, but you can go look on their website. Um, serums are really good for your skin. I don't have, I think this is listed as a serum on their page. So if they do call this a serum, I guess I do use a serum, but I remember writing them on Instagram asking, was this considered a serum? And they never wrote me back. But yeah, so um, if you are a serum girl, you can go on their website and pick you out a serum too to put into your routine. But I really, I don't use a serum serum. I don't know if that's considered a serum. Like I said, I'm not sure. But let's get into washing my face since I haven't washed my face this morning. This is while I brush my teeth. Witch Hazel. I either use this one or their Urban Skin. Honestly, I really kind of rotate. <laughs> 
since this one has like a lot of chemicals in it um and it is a brightening agent just need a little bit i'm just put this all over my face I actually scrub a bit and, and then once you get done uh, since it is a brightening agent I'll make sure I scrub where I see like the black spots in my face and this is a problem area for me I don't know if it's because that's the side I sleep on the most and I need to wash my pillowcase like every other day or what but this side is my problem area versus this side don't know why don't know why and honestly I guess I'm gonna do do like a breakout season because uh, I don't know what my face is doing this I, I think I really know why um, I just had a baby not too long ago uh, two months ago actually I had a baby two months ago and I think my hormone my hormones are trying to regulate if you know what I mean because I have been crapping and oh my gosh you women know what I'm talking about you like y'all know what I'm talking about oh I just hate the time oh my gosh like it's been nine months and I've been free from that stuff <laughs> from that monthly stuff so I think that's what my face is going through because I am cramping as I speak. But yeah, enough of that. It's not about that. This is about skincare. So, um, yeah. So I just, and when you use this, you can feel a cleaning sensation. It kind of burns, but it's not a bad burn. It's like a good burn, like, oh yeah, that feels good, you know? So, I do that with a cotton ball, 100% cotton ball. I make sure I target this in my problem area since it is a brightening agent. Oh no. Okay, that was enough of that anyway. Look at that. I just washed my face, but scrubbing still had a little dirt. So my face is dry now. Um, I use this advanced night treatment, one pump. I kind of do like this. Put on my problem areas and maybe another little pump and just rub that in. And I do this one hand because I don't want to get the I don't want the product to get like everywhere. I want to use the product fairly. Like I'm really freaking out. <laughs> like girl, what? It? Ooh, that's one thing. I like to be pregnant. You didn't have a monthly. But anyways, like I said. Okay, so that is over my skin. I like the way this makes your skin um feel. Now if you just sometimes majority of the time I um leave my skin like this since I've been in the house. But if you just don't follow up with anything else after this, it can make your skin like a little tacky. I can't believe I forgot to mention, well, I can believe because I don't use this. This is a shine blocker oil control moisturizer. I don't use it now, um, but when I start going back to work, I will have to start using this because a lot of their products, um, they tell you on the back of it if it, um, Oh. Um, so you can get a sunburn um, and this is really true y'all um, one day I went to a track meet and I had just put this into my routine and um, I we was out at a track meet when I got back to the house I was like super dark and I was like oh my gosh I got a sunburn like why do I have a sunburn I was using this you know a lot of their products they tell you if it can cause a sunburn if you do not use a sun blocker. Um, I think this has P SPF 30 sunscreen, the broad spectrum. 
like I said, you can get sunburn if you use some of their products and you don't follow up with a uh, SPF 30 sunscreen. But like I said, I don't go anywhere um, in the house this season. But when I start back going to work, I am going to have to use this because a lot of my products that I use, a lot of the products that I use from Urban Skin RX, you can get a sunburn. Like I said, I did get a sunburn once before. And this what that's what made me go and get this because I'm like, girl, that was a no. It didn't hurt. It just was like, um, it made my skin look, like look burnt. Really sunburn, yeah. It made my skin look burnt. <laughs> so when I start back going to work, I'm going to have to use this. But this is the uh, oil control. And I got the oil control one because like I said, I have oily skin. So I did use this one time and my sister was like, why your skin look white? I was like, what? And they claim this is not supposed to have a white mask afterwards, but I don't know what I did wrong, but my skin was looking white. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to find out how to get rid of that mask. On their website, a lot of people said they got the mask, uh, white mask after using it as well. Urban Skin claims that it's not supposed to um, leave a white mask, but I don't know. We probably doing something wrong. I don't know. But um, so after I use that, like I said, when you use this, if you don't follow up with something else, like a moisturizer, it does tend to leave your skin like tacky. And I, since I've been in the house, I really don't care. But when I go out, um, yeah, it's gonna have to be addressed. <laughs> So I follow up with this moisturizer. I love this packaging. It used to didn't come like this. They have, Urban Skin is really like spending time in the lab and like perfecting their packaging. So you really don't even have to press it down all the way on this because it will release too much product, too much for my liking anyway, just a little bit. And I just do this like that and just rub that in girl. I love the way this makes your skin feel after you apply this uh, Hydro Balance Instant Moisture Infusion. I like the um, Illuminating One Proof, the other one I showed y'all. I like that one too. But this just makes your skin feel like crispy and clean and fresh and stuff, you know? Then I follow up with this Reti, Reti Glow, Reti Glow, whatever, the night oil. <clears throat> so, comes in like a little drop like this. I do not put that much, I don't take that much. I literally like put drops on my fingertips like that. And I just go around patting my face. And I just, they tell you to let this absorb in your skin a little bit before you apply anything else or before you like rub it in, give it time to absorb. And I like this product, like I said, because it gives your skin that dewy glow, that overall dewy glow and a little bit goes along, but you don't even need that much. This one for a while too, before I started using it. And then I was like, girl, why you ain't me using this? This is like a game changer. You need this in your routine. So that's pretty much it. And like I said, I am on maternity leave, so I really don't like do too, too much. You see how, you, you, are y'all catching that glow? Do you see that glow? My skin used to be so bad, like ugh, bumps, blackhead. It was not one tone. I had hyperpigmentation in a lot of spots. So big shout out to Urban Skin RX. Um, you guys have changed my skin <laughs> tremendously, and I thank you guys so much. I mean, I have been using you guys for like three to four years, and I really love it. And um, after I use these products, I wash my hands because it's chemicals, <laughs> you know? So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment down below if you use Urban Skin or if I need to add something to my uh, skin regimen. 
or you know something that you try that you like and maybe I need to try it too or maybe a different routine of something you know any suggestions any anything you know so like I said this video was not sponsored by every skin I bought this with my own money Urban Skin RX has really changed my skin forever. And I will continually, continuously keep using their products because they are bomb.com. Okay, and if you're not using them, then what is you doing? Like, what are you doing? So let's just top it off with this. Um, I was supposed to end this video a long time ago. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, peace. Hmm. <laughs>